What's going on guys, this is Data Strain and I'm here to bring you a really quick Machine MK3 tip. Uh, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be um, creating send and return tracks right here from the Machine MK3. So right here on group, uh, on group G, this pink one right here, I have a, um, on the group I've got a reverb. Now you can see it right there from my screen. Got a reverb set up on that, right? Now, that's the only thing in this group. That's the only effect that's going in this group. And what I want to do is I want to send uh, my drum tracks to that. So these are, these are the drums we're going to be working with today. And with that, I want my hi-hat and my snare to pick up a little bit of reverb, but I don't want it actually covering the signal. I just want it kind of behind it so I can keep the hit of the dry signal while getting a little bit more air and lift out of it. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to head right over here. You're going to go to your macro button, right? Now you actually want to go to your drum rack, like where the drums are, and then select the sample that you want being affected, right? You can see as I hit, little mixer icon moves. You're going to take the jog wheel over here. going to go over to output, right? Now you can see the aux destination right there, but you might be over on this menu here where it says master off and all that shit. Just hit right. You know, it'll bring you right there. So from right here, we're going to select which group we're going into. So we're going to select it to group G where, uh, you know, where the reverb is. And then here is with the uh, an actual effect level, like how much reverb, uh, how much the signal is getting sent to the reverb. So as we play this, uh, you're going to notice that the snare is going to get more and more um, heavy with reverb. So just listen. Okay, so actually, as you saw, it affected the entire drums, and that's because I'm actually on group still. We want to go over to sound. Now it'll just affect the one sound. See, so that gives us a nice little bit of reverb on that. Go to your hi-hat. And you're going to do the same thing. Go to group G1. Right there. And then just bring it up until you can hear the effect. And that's pretty much how it's done. You know, I didn't need the mouse. I didn't need the computer or anything. You know, I was able to set it up right here from the controller. Um, that's a very good mixing tip. And it's a very good live performance tip, too, in case you want to kind of you know, add in some delays and reverbs for transitions and stuff, but you don't want them soaking the entire signal. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Guys, have fun and enjoy. Uh, I know I'm loving the MK3. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.